Hello. Dave. Hello, mate. How are you? <laughs> I'm all right. <laughs> yes, um, I'm the Nelson Monks guy. It is oh. Nelson Monks day. I had a little Simpsons we had this, yeah. before we started. Yeah. Um, I have a question. I'm going to change the subject a little bit. I want to know your thoughts on, and it's a little bit of a lengthy question, so bear with me. Um, I want to know what your thoughts are on online anonymity. I heard uh, I did a little bit of research. You spoke about this when you were on the, on the Young Turks a couple of years back, three years back as well. Um, and I'm not referring to people who need the anonymity. I'm not talking about ex-Muslims living in a Muslim country or anything like that. I'm referring to your common and garden online troll, yeah. just an anonymous person online. Do you feel that their anonymity online is used as a shield for people, for, for them to defame other people online with their real names out there um, and to carry out more heinous attacks? That's my well, first point. Yeah. Oh, well, I'll ask you a question first, which is, what did I say on the Young Turks? And let's see if I still have the same thoughts. How about that? We'll start there. <laughs> you, you felt that um, you, you, you kind of saw a need for it, but you also, I guess, saw why it could be used uh, in a negative way. Malicious, yeah. Yeah, yeah in a very malicious way. Like me, pretty measured, right? Um, so have you changed your opinion on that? I mean, has your opinion become stronger on online anonymity? I think it has. So first, I would say that, yes, you're, you're making the right distinction in the question, which is that there are legitimate people who need anonymity. There are ex-Muslims out there. There are atheists in, that could be in the South or wherever. There are gay people that are closeted, there, yeah, whatever nice. it is. So, so there are some legitimate th things that we have to acknowledge. And, oh, and, and by the way, I've known people online who were anonymous for a while, who when I've given them a little shit, about that, that have, that have come out, so to speak, and now uh, now are not anonymous. So I think that's great. But but I'm glad you acknowledge that because there is this level of that. Look, if you're in a, if you're in uh, Saudi Arabia right now, and by the way, people have reached out to me from Saudi Arabia. Uh, you know, you have no choice, right? You'd be insane to not be anonymous. So this is your way of connecting with the world. So if you have to live as a Twitter egg for now, then then it's better than nothing. Uh, this is also the irony of of the people, the regressive left. They just ignore these people because they don't want us to talk about their culture at all and make it seem like our culture is better, even though our culture is. It, I'm not saying we should export our culture and, and bomb everybody, uh, but if we don't talk about this, we will never free those people and they will live as, as Twitter eggs forever. So that, that's one thing. As far yeah, as the, yeah. the, the second part, which is the real point of your question, um, yeah, my feelings on this have changed because if you live in the West and you see what's happening, and I have plenty of fans and followers that, that do, that are anonymous. And at the end of the day, you're just uh, you're a cat or a Twitter egg or an anime bear or whatever the fuck it is. If that's, if that's, if that's all you are, nothing, no, no offense to bears. If that's, if that's all you are. Uh, or a Simpsons character. Uh, I'm not. Oh, oh damn. No, here you are. Here you are. Right, I got it. Snap. But the, the point is that if that's, if you all day just sit at your computer and there are public people who you may agree with or disagree with or whatever, but they're putting themselves out there. And if what you do anonymously from the comfort of your own freedom is attack them, uh, you know, look, the trolls, I get what the trolls are doing. I see this with the Trump frogs and Keki and yeah. Pepe and whatever, you know, like they just want a reaction out of famous people so that, and then what these idiots do, these famous people is they retweet them and make it seem like the hate is real or bigger. And it's yeah. mostly just a troll trying to get reaction. And that's why I don't engage with these people. But uh, okay. Okay. so my I feelings- I have a further point, David. So I'm sorry, but, but, but finish your point. I, I do have kind of a follow-up question, so. Yeah, yeah, so I'll wrap it with this. My feelings are stronger now because I, because since my following has gotten to a place where it, my, my mentions are so nuts, for the idea that I would give an anonymous person t a time from my brain is crazy to me. If you put your name out there and say something interesting, I will try, if, if when I can, I will try to respond. But if you're just some a Twitter egg trying to challenge my thoughts, it's like, you know what, if I was walking down the street and a random person started screaming at me and telling me what a fag I am, well, I wouldn't talk to them either. So I would have to do it the same way. All right, well, that, that kind of answers my second part. I was gonna say, do you think it adds credibility if you're an outspoken, you know, if you're outspoken on the internet and using your real name, as opposed to hiding behind an avatar. Because there's plenty of people on YouTube doing that that are very well known, but nobody actually knows who they are. Yeah, I um, think at some point you gotta, you gotta step up. You gotta step up. I'm not a fucking hero. 
I, I am one. But you're using your real name, David. Yeah. Behind ideas. So, but but okay. that's my point. I happen to be doing this, right? There's a couple people that are that are nailing this thing over and over. Nice mug. There you go. By the way, don't put that in the wash because a couple people are telling me this. <laughs> I will. I will. Hand, I will hand wash it. <laughs> hand wash. That's what I'm talking about. Um, All right, Dave. So, um, my last point then, I'll, I'll, I'll let you go and see the guys. So where do you see, and you mentioned this two, two or three years ago, and you mentioned some websites that, were, that are not really in existence anymore. So where, where do you see this going with, with regards to this issue? Because you've got a lot of people out there that don't want to use their names, but they want, the, uh, they want to be amplified, and they're not willing to put their names behind their ideas. Um, do, you, do you feel that there has to be some kind of accountability at some level? Um. Well, look, has to be, I don't know what has to be means. Like, I don't know that we can force them. And I suppose what I'm saying by that, David, is, is like, is it okay to be anonymous on the internet? Yes, it is. But if you want your ideas to be amplified and heard, do you feel that it's necessary to use your real name? I basically do. Again, as long as you're pretty much within the comfort, if you're in the comforts of a Western society, and you, you know. Yes, of course, taking that aside, Dave, obviously. Yeah, I think it's yeah. case so, by case, so too. I'll, I'll, give, I'll give you a good example. There's a... Uh, there's someone that does an online show uh, who I'm not even going to mention their name because I don't need to, to, to promote them. It's me. It's me, Dave. We understand. <laughs> yeah, okay. There, there's somebody out there who does an online show that really doesn't like me. That's fine. I don't care about that. Then it's not Yeah, me. so it is oh, Joe. That person. I get yeah, you. Yeah, that's I get not you. me. <laughs> they're, always, they're attacking me on Twitter and they, they uh, you know, get their people to tweet at me and blah, blah, blah. It doesn't matter. Fine. I do a show. You do a show. But the idea, this person I know is in a Western country. I know that much about them. And it's like, wow, you're so brave. I put myself out there, and these are my opinions. You, from the comforts of anonymity, are happy to judge me all the time. So it's like, right, right. you know what? If this person was public, I actually would invite this person on the show. Yeah, yeah. But because you're nothing, what am I going to do? Am I going to Skype interview you and put your fucking <laughs> your, your, your Twitter egg out there? It's like, so you know what? You're nobody. At that point, you are, you are the equivalent of the crazy person on the street, and right, I right. just can't give you my time. I get you. Thank you, Dave. I appreciate you answering my question, sir. Yeah, my pleasure. All right, Anthony. Oh, by the way, will you follow me on Twitter? <laughs> yeah, me too, man. I've been asking you. I've been bugging your ass about that. <laughs> I ask everybody to. Uh, yeah, that's just a given. Oh, hey, like by a, the way, it's like a top Trump card. By the way, uh, I'm like usually people follow me, but Anthony always asks our guests, like, follow me. On I Twitter. always ask. I don't care. I've got no shame whatsoever. Tommy dude. Robinson follows no. all of us, which is pretty cool. Yeah, Tommy yeah. Robinson follows me, dude. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> we'll keep on bugging Dave. Don't worry.